Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello everyone, it's Fafa Gilbert here of Ndu Dubai Fafa. Now today I'm taking it to Niger. Niger, here I do. <laughs> Charlie, I did make um, a goosey soup. Which is actually quite similar to the Guinean palava sauce or kutumbu stew, but I'll tell you what, I enjoyed this. This is the first time I've actually made this, and I actually enjoyed it, and I had it with a bath. Hmm. It, it was good. It was good, definitely. So yes, and yet again, of course, with my twist, because I had to improvise because of the limited ingredients I have, but equally, I was creative, and I ended up with an equally delicious dish. So now let's start cooking. So to start off, I'm actually marinating my goat meat for this recipe. I've actually blended ginger, onion, carom seeds and anise seed for this marinade. You can omit the carom seeds, but carom seeds are great. They actually add this beautiful earthy taste to your dish. They're readily available in most Asian shops, or you can actually get it online. But as I said, you can omit it altogether. So what I have done in preparation is I pre-marinated this overnight in the fridge. Um, equally, you can marinate it for a minimum of an hour and you're good to go. So I have now transferred my marinated goat meat into a saucepan, placed it on a medium heat and I'm actually going to cook this meat in its own juice on a medium heat as I said earlier for about 45 minutes to an hour. This will soften the meat and intensify the flavors that I've actually marinated the meat in. So now I'm actually going to move to the next stage. Next stage is my agusi or melon seeds flour. Now what I do as a trick is I actually mix it with a little bit of water to form a paste and it swells up. This allows it when I'm actually cooking it to actually have that almost omelette look and like little beautiful chunks. So this is my secret. So I mix it and I leave it for at least about an hour and it swells up just perfectly. Now moving on, my next ingredients are, I've actually got some red peppers, I've got some red chilies, I've got habanero chili, um, and as well as baby plum tomatoes. You can use whatever tomatoes that you do prefer. Now blend everything together so you have this beautiful textured consistency. And now my meat is also ready, so I've transferred it into a bowl and in the same saucepan, because one pot dish, I don't like washing too many dishes, <laughs> um, I'm actually adding my palm oil. And best I actually use zomi but of course I didn't have the zomi I just had the normal palm oil so that's what I'm actually using here now zomi is this beautiful spiced palm oil which is just incredible so yes now I'm actually melting my palm oil and to that I'm actually adding my sliced onions so I'm going to fry this gently for about three to four minutes this is to allow the onions and the oil to you know marry together and do the own shenanigans in the pot <laughs> At this point, for me to spice my oil, I'm actually adding a tablespoonful of my ginger blend mix. So this was the ginger, onion, carom seeds and anise seeds. But as I said earlier, you can omit the carom seeds altogether if you don't have access to that. So I'm just going to fry this for about two to three minutes yet again to allow the infusion to take place. And then now I'm adding my blended tomato and pepper mix. So I'm actually going to fry this mixture for about five minutes to allow this marriage of flavors to go through. You know me and flavors. One thing about cooking is at each stage of you cooking, you have to enhance the flavors of all the ingredients that you add into the dish. So, you know, cooking on a medium heat is imperative because you cook Cook it perfectly. Did I just say that? Perfectly. <laughs> at this stage, I can see the oil is settling at the top. So now I can add some more flavors. So I'm actually using some shrimp powder here and I'm adding about a tablespoonful of the shrimp powder. I have omitted um, stock cube from this recipe, but yet again, you can add that at this stage to your recipe. So I'm actually gonna fry this and then add some salt to taste. And I'm going to fry this for about six minutes, yet again, to allow the flavors to infuse. Now, guess what? I had some Kobe pieces left. Kobe's like become like a golden treasure here. So, of course, I'm going to have that fishy, salty taste as well. And that umami taste that this dish requires. So, I've just added those little pieces. And I don't want to overpower it because it's just enhanced the natural flavors. So, that's it. 
And now I'm actually going to be adding my steamed goat meat. So the goat meat is actually packed with the flavors of the ginger, onion, currant seeds and anise seed. So now I'm mixing everything together and this is going to be a happy ever after marriage. Mm -hmm. So I'm now adding half a teaspoonful of dawa dawa powder on nere seeds as I'd say. They are nutritious and it's a good replacement to um, your stock cubes. But this also adds this beautiful umami taste to this dish. So this dish is actually, you know, packed with flavors. Now at this stage, my agusi is actually perfect. So earlier I actually mixed the agusi with some water and you can just see that it's formed to this beautiful thick paste here. So I'm adding that to my stew. And now I've actually set the heating to its lowest setting. And I'm just teasing the agusi a little bit. I'm not stirring it completely. At this point, I'm actually going to cover this saucepan with its lid and trap the steaming. And it's the steam that would actually cook the agusi. And what it does is it actually allows it to form into these beautiful chunks, as you can see. So it has this beautiful omelette consistency, as you can see here. And I love that chunkiness of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So at this point, I'm actually adding my goat meat stock and I'm actually going to mix this together. Now, it is called a goosey soup, but it actually has a thicker consistency than normal soup would. But I'll tell you what, it's equally delicious. I love this dish. I'm in love with this dish. It's my favorite, one of my favorites now. So yes, I'm actually just gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes. This is to allow the oil to start settling at the top. And now we're moving to our spinach. Now what I've actually done to the spinach is blanched it. I'll leave a link at the top for you to actually watch one of my previous video on how to actually blanch your spinach. This is the best way to actually do because I actually portion it in containers like this and freeze it and take it out as it when a recipe requires it so there's no wastage. Now I'm checking my stew and it looks good. So now I'm actually going to add some texture. So I'm just adding some sliced onions to my mixture and stirring it. This refreshes the flavor of the stew as well. Yet again, this is optional, but do try it as a good trick. Now at this point, my stew is ready to take on my spinach. So I'm adding my spinach and I'm going to mix everything together till it's well combined. Bearing in mind the spinach is already cooked, so all I just need to do is just warm this through. And this just takes about three to four minutes and it's just perfect. So now that my goosey soup is almost done, I'm actually sprinkling with a little bit of green chilies and my shenanigans and love. <laughs> and I'm mixing everything together. This is ready. So yes, here we have the beautiful goosey soup with the ndudu twist as usual. A must try recipe. And thank you Nigeria for inspiring me to make this dish. Yes, but do you think I've finished? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm definitely paying good homage to you guys. <laughs> so now that my egusi soup is actually ready, I'm actually going to make some eba. Now, I like my eba to be soft. Now, eba is kind of similar to the gari pinon, um, but of course, the gari pinon recipe actually uses a tomato broth. With the eba, it's just plain water. I'm sure, you know, one can be creative with it. But because your sauce actually has all the flavors in it, it has to be something slightly on the bland side and that actually works with it. So I guess it's like swallow. <laughs> so to start my ebba, I've actually got some water in my saucepan that I've brought to the boil. And I'm just going to add one level to teaspoonful of firm salt to taste. And whilst I'm actually stirring, I'm going to be adding my gari. Yes. And to get the texture that I do like, it's one cup of gari to two cups of water uh, because then you actually have that beautiful soft texture. But let me actually just show you exactly what's happening here. I mean, there is a faster version of making a bao whereby you can just add the gari to your hot water and just do it that way. Um, but I actually like it this way because it becomes so soft, the grains actually almost disappear and it's a beautiful consistency and one that I think you should try. So it did look earlier that it was too wet, but no, it forms and it becomes just perfect. So at this point, I think my bat is just ready. 
So I'm just using my Benguta and my Calabash and I'm just trying to form a ball and I turn around and of course that eba looks luscious. So now I'm going to add my goosey soup next to it. Now this is what's called chop time, no friends. <laughs> but on a serious note, I enjoy this. I had this yesterday and I also had it today. I mean, that's how good this dish is. So yes, I hope you've actually enjoyed watching this so far. I've actually enjoyed this dish. I, I, I like this dish, I do. Have I actually made it clear that I do like this dish? Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, I'd leave the transcript of this recipe, including the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as in dudubaifafa. Now, do not hesitate to click that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment below, and guess what? Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care of you, be you, be around great people for you to be a greater person and I love you. Take care.